Hey everybody, David Burdett here, lead editor with GamingTrend.com, and we're playing a little game called Atlas Fallen, but I can't play this by myself. Well, I could, but I don't want to. Joining me is Editor-in-Chief Ron Burke. Hey, that's me. I'm the guy in the crazy red mohawk looking thing. He has the really cool armor. Uh, we have just booted into co-op, which, let's just say it's way more smooth than our Saints Row attempted co-op. <laughs> <laughs> that far is so low it's under the ground so <laughs> well you're here so that automatically makes it better um, yes we are figuring out little things when it comes to all of this atlas fallen stuff and uh ron has gone from being an in-game like super powerful character to missing a lot of his uh power <laughs> yeah i'm really close to the end um so to make things even, they've taken my suit of armor that's, you know, fully upgraded, uh, and it's like, you know, 37 offense and 55 defense, etc., and it's like two and <laughs> one, because <laughs> this is really early in the story, so. Yeah, I've I've pretty much clear. progressed just, just that far, just so that it'd be easy. Yeah, to be clear, uh, the game is definitely a solo game that also happens to have go up. Uh, I've had no trouble playing this game solo. It works really well solo. Yep, and it's fun from what I've played so far, so. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. All right, so, so we'll get into some trouble. Uh, yep. You set up a quest and let's do it. Cool. we got to find a piece to stabilize this gauntlet and fight first. things. First, aerial combat. Yeah, <laughs> It's so easy to just kind of chill in the air the whole time. <laughs> A chasm too wide to merely jump across. Well, I will not merely but for jump you, across it. Barely an obstacle at all, right? Oh yeah, my power uh, on this suit detonates when I do my attack. Hi, oh, nice. oh, yeah, What's going I'll on? A little damage on my career. So this is something probably everybody has seen, and it's the sand slide, and it's like one of the things that's super cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! I think it's funny hey! that we're both falling down here. Right. We're both the chosen one. Yay, cutscene! Wake up! Wake up! Now y'all is our suit. Come our on! Uh, oh, shit! Uh, uh, I mean, <clears throat> thank Thelos. You're, uh, you're still alive. He was trying to steal the gauntlet. End him. That's right. End him. The only old man with his cane. What? Back off. I was merely attempting to revive you, and it looks like I was successful. <laughs> well, you, you have this conversation. I'm going to admire the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is familiar. I don't think we've had the pleasure. Oh, I heard stories about it. How dangerous it is and how people who wield it might disappear and never be found. How do you know about this? Where did you hear that? My, my, how inquisitive. Let's say I heard it from friends. Friends? <laughs> I heard it from hmm. friends. <laughs> well, I am looking for some friends too. The Knights of Bastengar. Do you know about them? Can't say I do. But if you want to meet them, there's a path to Bastengar right there. Where? Behind me, there's a gate beneath a bunch of sand. It's where all those lights are twinkling. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. You're most welcome. Don't stay out in the sun too much. In case you're tired <laughs> and want to rest, there's a village nearby. Here, take this as an apology. It's rudimentary, but you can expand it. Yay, a map. Uh, you got a map. Which I never Let's meet at the village later. These games. I'll see you around. <laughs> oh, I do. I find every single thing on the map. I don't think I like this man. At least he's given us information. If the knights are behind that gate, can we unearth it? You might have hurt your head. 
Do you remember what just <laughs> happened? The gauntlet is unstable. And not only that, it is incomplete. It doesn't have enough power to unearth something this large. Yet. I don't want any more explosions on my part. I can only concur. It would be better for your health. But yes, we can fix the gauntlet. Remember the vision and the gauntlet's explosion? Its pieces were scattered across the lands. If we get them back, we can reforge the gauntlet bit by bit, getting new powers along the way, and preventing further explosions. Great. How can we find them then? I sense a powerful piece nearby. We can start it's with never, this one. I sense a mediocre piece nearby. <laughs> Hey, I'm just uh, happy it's always the good stuff. Something Ron and I were discussing is it certainly seems like there are a whole lot of talking clothing in video games this year. It is the year of talking equipment, for sure. Because we had the Forspoken Cuff, you have the Atomic Heart uh, Glove, and now you have the Gauntlet, all of which attach to your hand, so. Yes, indeed. All right, I found something. Yep. I am not the biggest fan of these Sand Echoes because it makes you sit next to them. Yep. Feel free to tell me the story as I move around. Exactly. I guess we're supposed to go up to this castle for me. Something. Sorry about the tombstones. <laughs> trying to decide which way is the best way to go to get in here. There, the piece I sense. There we go, the perfectly mediocre piece. That's right. I know the pieces fit. I watch them fall away. The player has it's rejected like co op summon. I literally there. accepted it. I don't get that. There we go. Yay. That's good that they have that built in. Yeah, it prevents I people see from something around awesome it. Big. It seems to be protected by some magic. Watch out, please. Oh no. can channel it into shattering blows. Uh-huh. Yay, big ultimate attack. Yes. <laughs> should be able to get the piece now. It is fun to play in co-op. It feels like it's very tough for these guys to aggro. <laughs> so, yeah, you can kind of confuse them. The gauntlet should be stable now, but the piece you found is still dormant. Oh it no, I need more MacGuffins. To be properly right. forged into the gauntlet. At least three MacGuffins. Can you sense these shards too? Yes, let me show you. Detective vision. <laughs> you see the beacons of light? Everyone is a shard calling out to you, to the gauntlet. 
Can we unearth the gate to the knights once we have them? Now, I thought yes. this is interesting. And with that, more powers. You only need three more pieces. memories. But it gives I guess so the it's a bit convert. much to take in. I, yeah. I will need your help. And, and I then will be we here. can go the and we can yes, find the I Knights of Bassinger. That's right. Use my Kim senses Bassinger. if you lose sight Kim of them. Bassinger. And they will guide the way. Loss, where did you come from? I love how that guy's like freaking out. Are you getting here? Right? What? How did. Huh? You walked over here. How, how crazy is that? Alright, have you uh, done this? I wasn't here before. Done which so thing? Got these... I have recollections oh, of this place. Oh, you went the other way. Filled with life. I'm coming back towards you. There were rivers and forests, birds so... and beasts. You've got these animals a paradise, over here. As far and as the eye could see. If you're really patient. What happened? It's hard, but um, you basically observe these critters, and eventually they'll get used to you, and they'll go walk around. Huh. And when they walk around, eventually they'll start throwing off these little gold sparklies. And if you wait long enough, uh, they'll eventually drop. Uh, a map and some other uh, super rare um, crafting material. Yep, so I don't know if we've uh, yeah I don't know if we've unlocked that yet. Not so, all is dead in this place. That's actually a thing. I feel but, relieved. Yeah, you remember this area? Right Not fully, it's sparkly. but it is familiar to me. Well, you ran him right into me and knocked. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. Uh, I do find it interesting that I get to keep my uh, progress from my single player game, though. Um, I still have all my tribute. I still have oh, cool. all of my powers. So uh, the only thing I lose are the uh, just your levels, uh, essentially. Yeah, my levels. Okay. That's cool. I hadn't done anything actually with them yet. Am I supposed to be following you, or like, what are we doing? Oh, sorry. I, I didn't. I don't think we've unlocked it yet, so I don't know if it actually works. Just something that you do later. Yeah, I was just running around. Um, okay. Lead on, sir. I was just like, what did I do? This certainly seems like it's not a you bad game to be co-op. No, it works pretty well co-op. I guess we'll head over towards that thing of me over here. Yeah. Air dash shard. Sounds good. Three of them. I do like how the uh, jumping and dashing feels. Like, it really feels like you can do, you can jump a lot. Yeah. Like, you're actually getting a lot of distance out of what you're doing. Not enough of that. They just made the uh, jumps longer. <laughs> Another step. Closer and closer we get. Yay, closer and closer we get. And you're still trying so to get up here. <laughs> I went the other way. Um, so do I need to recover it? I nope. don't think so. Nope. Seems that like is it's progress for both. That's good design. Yeah, for the main for the main stuff. I so will lend you my extra. eyes. Oh yeah, we did unlock it. See on the mini map, you got the little get the little horns for the stag. That's oh what yeah, that is. So oh, okay. you can observe observe uh, the animals there and. Gain the goodies. I forget that I don't have my extra dash yet. See this metal part on its body? That is a race core. And a race with no core is a dead one. 
at large rate. You can call lesser ones. How annoying. Be Castrum Seven. Perhaps somebody here knows so more about the knights. Behind here. Yep. An anvil. We can rest and grow stronger there. This one is warded by a spell. Since we are being watched. There are some attacks I cannot block. They drain us of momentum. Watch out for blue spots. to take. This should save the villagers from further wraith attacks. Yay! <laughs> so as fun as those fun other ones that you see. gotta look for, it took me forever to figure out how to get to them because I didn't realize the whole like, chasm. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a float in this too. It takes a little bit of practice. Not bad. So, the way that this works, and I'm going into the menu to do that, is you've got armors, which are pretty straightforward. It's just a, hey, do you want to upgrade your armor? Here's the numbers and everything like that. Again, straightforward. The gauntlet is where it gets a little bit more. Um, I don't have all the weapon types as of yet, but you've got a main and a secondary. You can switch those things out kind of with some different things. But then the cool things are the idols and the essence stones. The essence stones are like these different, it's, it's kind of like a, a skill tree almost, but you're choosing these different powers essentially to put into slots. And as your momentum gauge builds, which is on the bottom, as you attack things, you essentially get the ability to use these different things. So, like, for instance, I just did a summoning a tornado following your foes and damaging everything in its path. It's there, but I can't use it until my momentum gauge gets into the second tier of where it is. So, so building on that, um, so as you upgrade them uh, using the MacGuffins that you find on the ground or in leaves and stuff like that, uh, you'll be able to get 
better versions of those. You can fuse them with other uh, other essence stones that you pick up. I have over a hundred of them at this point. Yeah, there's um, a lot. Yeah, so like my tornado is called Stalling Tornado, and it explodes randomly and damages foes over eight seconds. But when I upgraded it, it uh, it has a faster cooldown and does even more explosions. So it's a matter of just picking kind of your play style and then finding different attacks and support stuff that matches your your style. And the cool thing is you're not locked into any of that because there is a like preset kind yeah. of system with everything. So you can actually eventually, because I don't think I have gained that ability here yet. I have it in my other game. But you actually get the ability to where you could have different builds to work with. Yeah, you can. Um, just kind of handy. Uh, you can, you know, if you want to go with punching attacks instead of uh, um, whip attacks, and you want to also be able to freeze people in their in their tracks, and it's really just kind of up to you how you want to how you want to handle your particular combat style. Um, and then just picking accordingly. Yep, and then adding in with that just the fact that, like, for instance, we're playing co-op. Part of the whole reason with co-op is that my build is not exactly the same as Ron's, or we can just both run in and beat the crap out of something <laughs> yep. the exact same way, so. I actually adjusted my build to uh, be playing co-op, so um, I have an area of effect heal. Nice. Uh, that I actually fused instead of just being area protected. Uh, it triggers off of when I hit something. That's cool. Yeah. Another anvil is close. Do you feel it? A kite. Someone is calling for attention. Let us take a closer look. I need to find this anvil. It's over here. Over by a and this is an open world game, it's just more of a thing in the sense of you have these big areas that you will be in. So you, you will leave an area to go to another area and so on and so forth. I also am stupid because I looked at the anvil and I was like, oh, why aren't they using these as like fast travel locations. Turns out they are. And that's also where you saved your game because it seemed pretty obvious, but stupid me would activate the anvil but then wouldn't hit it again to actually use the anvil, which is how you do a lot of your customization in terms of upgrades. Yep, upgrades, saving, fast travel, all of it. So that was that was very ah, annoying Any luck on <laughs> when I realized that, that I did to not around? do that. Yes, there shouldn't be any more problems. Thank All God right. for auto save, though. Please don't <laughs> judge me if I don't take your word for it. That passage to Bastingar you mentioned. Even if I unearth the gate, is it safe? Should be. But, well, you know, it has been buried for about a uh, decade, so my guess is as good as yours. About this gauntlet, you said you heard about it from friends? What friends? Look, a thing was used by the knights during their rebellion yeah, ten years ago. Word spreads fast. And uh, I don't remember who told me that. It's not that important, is it? I'll return when I can open the gate. Yay. We still need right. another air dash shard. Yep, let's go get it. Keen eyes, I wonder what his job is. <laughs> oh, I, do, <laughs> I do like that there's, at least as far as I can tell, there's no fall damage. Nope. Even falling off a cliff isn't fatal. You just take a little damage for uh, doing something dumb and then off you go. So there's a lot of free exploration in this in the sense of, like, just figure out how to get somewhere. It may not Slow be down. the intended way. We must not scare it away. Our patience will be rewarded. Yeah, now it's talking about the wildlife secrets on my screen. Ah. 
I found some more boxes, so I'm grabbing those. Oh, I am. <laughs> Can't help it. This looks like a map or a yeah, yeah, piece it. of it. Yes. Yep, the owner must it. have really cared about it. I can sense their lingering thoughts when they drew it. I can likely help you locate it when you have all the pieces. Alright, back this way for 300. <laughs> okay, well, why are we heading this way? I'm following the map marker. Where are we going? Lead on. <laughs> okay. We gotta go back this way because we gotta get to the other uh, air dash pieces. Uh, we has to go to the desert. And again, make sure you go back, people. Uh, this... I, I was... I spent so much time trying to figure out a way across from way over there. And that's not possible this early in the game. Close to a shard. I hate how these things go. Take the shield back on. Sure, if you'd like. Got the back. Whoa! Hi. Oh, he said hi. Alright, so wow. I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna see that the shield back, the shell back that has a uh, uh, red components. So there's a gold clock. You can take them off the way. The kind of chance you'll get. Goodies. But otherwise, uh, yeah, you're just fine. 
we go. The traveling vendor must be close. I feel like that was probably a lot easier between both of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm pretty geared, so uh, his case helps ours. There are some fun little uh, bad guys in this one. Creatures. Yeah. These are the ones that guard the watchtowers are pretty fun too. There's also oh, no, these are, you've done these. There, beneath that rock formation. Yeah. This place yeah, will serve as a landmark. We can set out into the wastes from here. Is that uh, you? Over Come over here. The anvil. The desert street. The memories of. And the, and the what? <laughs> All right, got my upgrades. Yep, I gotta do my, do, go ahead and do some quick armor upgrades too. I have the refined dash. Then again. <laughs> Getting those dashes is certainly uh, very helpful. Essence stones. The formidable tools they are. We use them only for battle, but were these different times, they could see yeah, other applications. Cool. And I guess we could talk to one of these people about a side quest. We have collected enough sure, ingredients to make something quest. glorious. The bridges shouldn't be repaired yet. Did you get stuck here too? No, I was able to jump thanks to this artifact. Huh, that seems useful. We've been stuck over <laughs> here for a while now with no it way back useful. to the village. And the only person who could do something about it is... Ugh. So, could you use your powers to help us get out of here? I'm, I'm sure. not sure. I'll try. You mentioned someone else could help? Yes. Splinter. She's a carpenter of sorts. But, I heard well, he the crazy was a type. Big rat in she the went sewer to gather materials around the gate west of here. Turtles. Said she would rebuild the bridge or something. Yes, that's what I heard as well. That's what the rumor suggests. Alright, set a quest, lead on. 100 this way. So far, most of the quests that I have done have seemed hey, pretty you? simple. Here to admire the stonework? Yeah, By exactly the right sun! It went against the force that makes things fall. Teach me how! You <laughs> must be Splinter. Warnblade sent me to find you. She said you could do something about the bridge. The rope bridge? Don't you get it? You change everything. With I you, do. that stone bridge can- Ah! <laughs> Okay. We need to get after her. So far, the game, it does seem very easy to ignore things you don't want to fight unless you're in a direct mission. Yeah. Time to waste then. I'm working on it already.
check up on good old Splinter. These things. It is said the Watcher can see through their eyes. They are everywhere. I would I've never been hope close it to would one. See through its eyes. Too dangerous. They are always tethered oh, to a strong wraith guarding the area. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. A complete subversion of my prediction. <laughs> How fascinating! You are the unknown variable, an That's agent me. of pure chaos. Definitely. Amazing. I must awesome. study you further. We don't have time for study. I'm glad you're not hurt. That wraith must have been agitated by something. I need to get you all out of the desert. Can you build a bridge back to the other side? As I was about to say, before that inexplicable cluster of sand caught me, I don't need to. There used to be a proper stone bridge north of where we met, connecting this desert to the other side. It collapsed a long time ago. But with your power, whoop whoosh, back up it will go. <laughs> Way faster like than spending days building lazy. a new one. Please tell me you're in. Right. I might be able to. Also, I'll take a look at the bridge. All right. Oh, and please take this. I thought I could use it, but it's probably what attracted the wraith. I suppose I should make my way to Warnblade. Meet us when you've investigated the bridge. Oh, the anticipation! <laughs> Yeah, I've figured out what's really going on. She doesn't understand it's a very deep chasm. She has no depth perception. I see that trapping man. You know what's going on? This area, I did every single quest. All of them. With all the big monsters. Found all the boxes like this one. On the uh, ground. Collected all the goodies. And nothing if not thorough. Sometimes it's just fun to do all of the things. Yeah, it's very relaxing. And this is a game where it's pretty simple to this do This must all be the things. bridge remains Splinter talked about. Yep. We Can we about. raise it? It would be no, difficult. Here. My power will not reach this far. The gauntlet also requires another piece. We would need a power equivalent to the one we need for the Knight's Gate. We should go back to Splinter. As weird as she is, she Thanks. might have an idea. Splinter we go. I could raise the bridge from the depths, but there's a small issue. My gauntlet is not yet strong <laughs> enough to raise it, and... Right. Hmm. The bridge is mm. too far. I can't reach it with my power. Aha! Uh -huh. A trifling matter. I can get you there. Can carpet something. I need to reforge my carpet. gauntlet first, so you <laughs> can take your time. That way. Well, don't just stand here. Go! Perform your reforging. I await your next spectacle with great anticipation. Something tells me that the effort you put in... <laughs> To doing all this carpentry, would you could build a bridge? <laughs> Seems like. All right, all so right. fast travel or on we go? Let's try to fast travel because I don't think I've actually done that yet. All right, I'm gonna wait here and see what happens. See if it pulls me along. Well, I got sucked into the unlocking a socket. Okay. 
I do like that from the you can restore your health and everything at these as well. That's something that not enough games do. Yes, absolutely. Alright, so we're supposed to go talk to a reef, so I am teleporting to that anvil. Did you jump into a loading screen or was it just me? Nope. I was waiting to see what it would do. It did not. Okay, All cool. Right, so we're you jumped up to the uh, Castrum uh, yes. 7? Alright, I'll warp there. So that's cool because a lot of games they would force you. Yeah. Like, so we can truly kind of run around and do whatever the heck we want in this almost instance. Yeah, it's just cool. Especially considering I get a lot of the stuff, the benefits of the stuff that you find, so... Somebody could go off and just do collecting and such. You'll be happy to know that I have begun to reforge the gauntlet successfully, <laughs> and still no explosion. Are you sure? Because that thing still doesn't look safe at all. If I can reach Bastingar, how far is it to the capital? You want to go to Lethesta? It is quite simple from Bastingar. That is, if you can get to Bastingar in the first place. Also, I was thinking... There is probably a piece of that thing in the keep west of here. Might be worth checking. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'll take a look. To the west. Away. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> just broke a lot of something. Nearby. The gauntlet oh. resonates right. with it. So this keep is big. I don't know if you've explored this or not. I haven't explored the whole thing, but I've been there. Token. These ruins on the other side of that gorge. <laughs> I think I've been there before. I sense a major piece there. It could be what we need to unearth the Knight's Gate. He senses the major piece. Again. All right. I botched that jump. <laughs> So did I. <laughs> there we go. I love how this guy's just chilling over here, and if you talk to him, he's like, How did you get over here? And in my head, I'm like, How did you get over here? <laughs> You should too. Yes. That major piece must be close. Hey you! It's dangerous in there. Come over here. Not as dangerous it is as it is out here. There is something here in the sand. Stay on your guard. The major piece we need to unearth the Knight's Gate. We Now we just need more shards major. and we can forge it into the gauntlet. Now we yes, need the minor pieces. But stay alert. I've been sensing something ever since we arrived. Because there's always a boss to fight whenever we get something huge. <laughs>
Beautiful. A fine performance. Well, thank you. I thought we were done for. This battle. I remember something now. We can use the sand in another way. Somehow you getting punched your in the arms face in sand multiple times is jarred something loose. <laughs> I have a quippy knuckle duster. Yeah, I haven't used that as much. The whip just seems so much more useful. Yeah, I get that. Of course, I guess you could make knuckle the knuckle in, in place of the uh, other thing. The hammer? Yeah, the hammer. <laughs> or axe I like, or whatever it is. I like the hammer axe thing. On we go. On we go. But not before we get a chest. That's right. We finally know how to create something new. Magic arrow is pointing left. So I guess we get out of here somewhere. I just do the cave here. More boxes to collect. must be nearby. The gauntlet resonates with it. stones we have, the better our chances against a race. That we should keep our coming. collection battle ready. What is this place since you've done a lot of these missions. Sorry, I accidentally flipped my headset. So yeah, can break these the statue. Of out of them. It has gathered essence for Thelos. Let us nice. take it for ourselves. Able to absorb all of the essence contained okay. inside of it. Yeah. All right, lead on. Her. Free money. Pretty much. Uh, one right over. Right over. Here's the echo of an anvil. 
shell basher anger. Leave me alone. The gauntlet is definitely an acquired taste. I've definitely made use of the axe more. It's not my favorite, but it's nice to have an option. to this one to the south. Because that seems like it'll be the easier place to go to. Look. This is interesting. Maybe we can find someone who has a use for this.
protecting this thingy up here. <laughs> That's another one of the interesting beasties. She's missing all these boxes. That's what I got you for. Do you feel that? The, the we are way. close to yeah, a shard. You're going the right way now. Yeah, I think so. That's a fun thing about this. Sometimes it's the puzzle and how you get somewhere. Yeah. Only thing I've noticed with some of the programming, and you probably could say the same to this, is there are some hidden edges that you get caught on pretty regularly playing this. Yeah. The things that are just walls. Yeah, the little juts. Yeah. Like. Occasionally, you just get caught on something, and it's just annoying. Yep. 100%. Every shard helps, All right, but you are still one. not strong enough. Was there a time before Thelos? I don't care. We have the third one to collect. No, handle all the under shards. I think it's over this way. Well, if you hit down on your D-pad, it'll show you. There it is, over way over in the distance up on top of that hill. Yep. And this is another one of those where nearby. we can't really get the gauntlet there from resonates this area. with it. Yeah, you gotta repair the bridge first, I think. Okay, so do we have to, I guess we gotta go back through the keep to get to that side. Mm-hmm. Yay. They make me think of weird alien spaceships. Just well, fast traveled right over to here. <laughs> we're not bound to each other. You could still use the anvil. Well, I am on. I'm on the other side. You can use the anvil. Oh. Then just come over to where my uh, point is on the map when you see it. If you sure. see it. Yeah, you can see my my dot on the map. Across the gorge. Yep, I see ya. I will be there momentarily. Woo, there you are. And now I have magic. The magic of a good SSD. Shards. 
just waiting for me to find another anvil. <laughs> so you and I uh, might have taken very different paths. What is it? We can use higher grounds to map our surroundings. Oh, you found a vantage point. Let you see where all the goodies are hidden. Oh, cool. See the thingy. Get it. I'm sure there's some. I either gotta beat something or there's an arbitrary task, so. That's true. Is there an anvil nearby? Uh, let me find it. I'm sure there is. Because then I'll just warp to you, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Assumption is that there's an anvil nearby. I'm trying to look for a spot on the map that looks like it would have an anvil. There's one actually around the thing itself. Do you feel that? We are close to a shard. Too close to the edge of the cliff. This shard is protected. There should be more ceiling totems nearby. Look around and try to trace their connections. Okay, if there's an anvil here, I'm not sure exactly where it is. I'm still looking, though. Alright. Again, one would assume one would be here somewhere. Alright, All right, well go the direction you went, I think. We get separated and uh, lost track of you. Wish you could ping things. I went up the, uh... There's kind of a bridge into the desert. Yeah, it doesn't really help. <laughs> Again, if I could ping it, that would be I'm most at the, helpful. I'm at the outskirts cave. I'm assuming you went to okay. the outskirts cave. No, right. I was actually out in the, like the main path. You go under like a bridge-ish kind of rock formation. Where all the... Where you are. I'm looking down at it right now. I think you're actually above me. Yep. I'm looking outside of the cave. I'm looking towards the gorge. <laughs> Trying to see if there's some climbable surface I can get to. I mean, if you come out this way, you'll be able to find it. Just go out to the main path. The rock I'm path. Sure it's the main path. You're, I think you're on the main path right now. There you go, you're coming up now. Yeah. I just went a different path than you did. And then I doubled back trying to go to the handle. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the fun of this uh, game, I guess. Is there are different ways to get to the spots. Yes, indeed. I reward well, there's a traveling vendor up here, but there's not a... Even more things. Oh, yeah, you'll run into that dude a lot. It's like, but there's no anvil, really? <laughs> right there. I'm at the traveling vendor. Yay. Where are you? Now this spot, I've been up here before. This spot is just pretty. Where are you? Oh, there Looking you are. out across the I can feel a shard nearby. 
Yeah. Keep your eyes There's peeled. There's nature thingy over here. This shard is protected. Pissed off all the there should there, be so more sealing totems down. nearby. Whoa, I straight. I <laughs> Look around just and try to trace their this, connections. I'm very glad I did not do that. This shard is protected. There should be more sealing totems nearby. Hey, we're close Look to around shard. and try to trace their connections. Yeah, I've heard that right. only, you know, 500 times. We gotta do this thingy again. We found. Oh, everything else after this is extra. Nice. All right, so we need to go back to town and uh, use it, right? Yep. Well, what's funny is there's an anvil more or less underneath us. So let's do here? the old. <laughs> no such thing as terminal velocity. <laughs> and then just the quick air dash. <laughs> Another anvil is close. Do you feel it? Oh yeah, I felt it a long time ago, Dodo. <laughs> this tracker always talked about... I would be... No, me... So I guess we're gonna raise this gate, beat the boss, and call it a day? That sounds good to me. <laughs> day in a life of the unnamed. Calling him unnamed, I'm not calling my guy unnamed. His name is Bob. Day in the life of Bob. I also find it funny that every time you get a gauntlet, it's we like be able to you look at how big your left hand now. is compared to your the right day hand. Will rise with our will. Oh yeah, will yeah it it's comically large. Like trust. Space Marine large. <laughs> right, talk to the reef and then we'll get on our way. You return. Did you find something? We I am did. ready to open the passage to Bastingar. You can tell the villagers to follow. Not so fast. Actually, Not there's so fast. still an obstacle. A pretty sandy one. A large wraith is waiting on the stone bridge. It's dangerous for anyone to cross. But you... So I should just remove that wraith. How big is it? Nothing you can't handle, I guess. Thank you for the when useful information, that, that as always. Big. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be like that. Look. You a little something that will help. It's a streamer oh. to tie was worn by the best warriors this land has known. Now, you show that wraith some manners. You already wearing the armor. Or actually, no, I just we have completed a map. <laughs> Yay! Wait, here it comes. The bridge! No! Stay back! It's too dangerous! This must be it. The Wraith! Reef wasn't joking. Angry, Use caution. This foe is dangerous. Oh, oh, no. No. I'm just gonna walk it. I'd like to know how we didn't like end up like crushed under rocks. 
and head towards the Knight's Gate to block our way. Then let's end it. We're strong enough now. Idols, the gates and stones Our collection grows. We're not doing that. Let's I'm go. curious <laughs> to try out different combinations now. Fight my biggie boy boss. <laughs> oh, there he is. Alright, I'm gonna take care of the ads. I take care of the what? The ads. We can go and meet Kim Basinger. That's right. We're back for another time. Yay. Well, it's been fun. And yeah. now we need to go and dump all the sand out of our boots. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody watching, make everybody. Yes, and everybody make sure you're keeping an eye out for Atlas Fallen. It releases on next gen consoles or this gen consoles i guess uh playstation 5 xbox series consoles pc on august 10th and enjoy our written review when you get to go see it on gamingtrend.com peace out Thanks, stay everybody. safe play games have fun see ya